Hello guys, this is uh, a little process with um, plants that I have uh, been outside picking and uh, I'm just putting them on top of textile and uh, hammering over them and make a pattern in the textile. You can try uh, all sorts of uh, plants and leaves and do this uh, prints. Most of them uh, give uh, nice colors. We don't have so many fresh flowers uh, still blooming in Sweden. But I uh, was able to find a few at least, so I can show you the process. Another way to do it is to use color and uh, make prints from uh, the pattern of the flowers and leaves. And uh, I will show you that too, how it looks when you use white acrylic paint and uh, also some watercolors. It's easier to uh, color these uh, prints later with more color if you would like to. If you make sure that you hammer on all edges so you get the clear pattern. So the next uh, thing I'm doing is using my watercolors and uh, blending some colors and just painting on the flower and then pressing it down to the textile. Taking some more colors right away and uh, making sure that that I get the uh, edges and the right pattern. I'm using a little bit of acrylic paint and uh, dabbing in some white so it's uh, get a bit of highlight. Then I'm using some leaves, doing the same color on the back of the leaf, that the veins are clear. And then I'm just pressing it down and you get this nice pattern to play with later on. So uh, next thing, I'm using acrylic paint and uh, dabbing the plant right into it and then pressing it down to make a pattern. If you uh, put this on uh, real thin and nice, it's, uh, will, uh, it will dry quickly and you can uh, continue to play with it with other colors later on. I also using some leaves, thin ones, and I'm taking some water and put that in the acrylic to water it down. And then I'm just uh, dipping in the leaves and make patterns on the textile. 
So when this is dried, we are going to go and play a little bit more. Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to my table. I thought we could play a little bit more with the textile pieces I colored earlier today. I did a little quick recording so that you could see how I did the process and played with the, with the different um, leaves and flowers that I had picked. So I thought we could just use a little bit more watercolor maybe and uh, some ink and uh, see if we can just make something fun. So I'm just taking my white ink pen and I'm going to just see if we can fill in a bit more on these stems. I think it didn't do so much. So I think we will go in with some ink pens instead. See if, or if the pen with um, O1 is working. And uh, I just played and uh, used uh, white acrylic paint and uh, watercolor to just uh, do some prints. Nothing difficult or fancy. I just had fun with the paints and the flowers. And hopefully we can use it for some journals. I just felt that I needed to do something freely today. Relax and play. Some days you can't go into the bigger special project that you have. The brain is kind of shut off. <laughs> and you need to do something that is a bit more relaxing. Some doodling. Like this maybe. Make sure that your ink are uh, have dried properly before you use your pen. You can uh, totally destroy them if you use them in uh, wet color. I'm going to speed this up so you don't need me to see see me do all uh, these uh, small flower pieces.
And as you see, I'm not doing anything uh, difficult and kind of just uh, playing. So, this is my uh, kind of uh, textile play for today. I hope you had fun. I had. And uh, I think that uh, it probably will be more things like this. And if you don't like to draw by hand or uh, use flowers, you can always use a stencil with flowers or leaves and uh, do some marks first and then paint in it. So uh, go out, find some plants and uh, start playing. You can also do just uh, dip them in coffee and do that on white textile. That's always kind of nice with the coffee dyed color. So. Um, this was it for today and uh, I hope I will see you soon again. Until next time, bye bye from Sweden.